A couple of years ago, I was driving to a conference in Niagara Falls. So <laughs> driving along with Rachel, we're having a great time. She cracks me up. I throw back my head in laughter and I slam into the car in front of me. They had stopped at a red light that I didn't see. And everyone was fine. Nobody got hurt. All's well that ends well. But my car was totaled. It was a 10 year old Ford Fusion. It wasn't going anywhere. It didn't have a lot of life left in it. And all of a sudden I was left with this decision that, oh, I have to get a new car. And I didn't want to. I liked my car. I liked its gas mileage. I liked that it was paid off. It was a fine car. It did the job. It got me from A to B. I'm not really a car person. I don't care that much. But I also, between the time that I bought the Fusion and the time that I crashed the Fusion, I had two kids. My life had changed. I had outgrown the car and didn't even really know it. Then a couple days later, I went and got myself a brand spanking new minivan. And it felt like the upgrade of the century. I know for a lot of people, a minivan might not be the big upgrade that you're looking for, but man, that sunroof, the heated leather seats, the fact that I can open my kids' doors from right next to my driving steering wheel, it is amazing. It's the upgrade that I didn't even know I needed. And now I can't imagine going back to my 10 year old Ford Fusion. I haven't stopped talking about how much I love my new minivan. And in the same way, I have another upgrade that I want to share with you today. For many, many years, I was using plugins on my WordPress website that really weren't doing the job that they could have been. They got me from A to B. They were really great 10 year old car level of uh, sufficiency, but they weren't anything that I was excited about. And then when I finally did upgrade my SEO plugin, I was so excited that now I just can't stop talking about it. So if you want to hear what the minivan of SEO plugins is, stay tuned and I'll be right back with you. Hi, I'm Meg Casebolt, the founder of Love It First Search, where we help online entrepreneurs show up in search results and then turn those new readers into leads, subscribers, and sales. Okay, the minivan story may have been a weird way to introduce this topic, but honestly, there's no way to make SEO plugins fun. So I had to tell a story, right? Anyway, what I'm going to be talking about today is that transition that I made from using the Yoast SEO plugin, which is the most popular SEO plugin on the planet. I've done an entire video all about how you can use the Yoast plugin to make sure that you're getting the right information onto your website, but it's not actually the best tool out on the market right now. A couple months ago, I made the shift in my own business on my own websites to go from using the Yoast plugin to Rank Math. Rank Math is a free plugin that has even more functionality to it than Yoast, including the upgraded paid version of Yoast. So let me do a comparison for you. At first glance, you may think, Meg, they're both SEO plugins. How can they be that different? And it's true. A lot of the things between the Yoast plugin and the Rank Math plugin are very similar. They have the same rules that they follow because Google doesn't change based on the plugin that you use. So things like how long is your SEO title or how to include alt tags, those types of things aren't going to change regardless of what plugin you're using. They both integrate with your Google Analytics, your Google search console. You can set up your sitemap. The big difference in the interface that you're going to see if you decide to move to rank math is that instead of having that traffic light that Yoast has where you can be red, yellow, or green, rank math uses a scoring system. So you're going to have a score somewhere between zero and 100, where zero is you haven't touched it at all. And sometimes even when I don't do anything, I, <laughs> I still write in such a way that I can get like a 20 without doing any work or 100 is you've done everything you possibly can to optimize this blog post. And I really prefer that because I feel like then it's a little bit more nuanced of an approach and I can pick and choose whether or not I wanna take certain activities and strategies into play instead of just feeling like I need to achieve some sort of artificial green light. But there are things that Rank Math does better than Yoast. 
schema markup is something that is usually included for most SEO plugins for articles, but if you have a review website or you're writing recipes or there are specific ways that you want to organize your data, Rank Math will help you set it up in a way that Google understands using the special code called schema markup. Yoast only allows you to have one focus keyword in their free version, but Rank Math will let you include more than one keyword. And this works with the, the approach that I take where you have keyword clusters, where you have multiple phrases that mean the same thing and you can integrate them in different ways. Rank Math is much more supportive of letting you use multiple keywords that mean the same things as synonyms. Yoast doesn't automatically redirect things if you move them from one place to another in the free version, but Rank Math has a 301 redirection tool built right into it. So if you decide to change the permalink or the slug on your blog post and you want to change where it's located on your website, Rank Math should automatically set that up to redirect it for you so you don't have to worry about that. And Yoast Premium has internal link recommendations, but not in its free version. And Rank Math does include that in its free version. So if you have a blog post or a piece of content that you've written about something similar, Rank Math can usually do a pretty good job of saying, you've written about this before in this blog post, let's try to link those two blog posts together so that people who find this blog post will head over to this one. There are also some extra add-ons that you can add to Yoast. So if you're running a local business, you can add Yoast local. Or if you have a lot of video, you can get the Yoast video add-on. And, and of course that's paid. And if you're running an e-commerce business on WooCommerce, then you can get the Yoast WooCommerce SEO. But all of those different functionalities, if you're interested in them, and I am, those are all included in the free version of Rank Math. So when people ask me all the time, should I bother with the premium version of Yoast? I'm like, no, just get the free version of Rank Math. That'll get you everything that you could need in terms of SEO. It's the tricked out minivan of SEO plugins. And if you already have Yoast installed on your site and you're like, oh my God, I don't wanna do one more thing. I don't wanna have to worry about moving everything over. Rank Math does have a free migration tool where you can move from Yoast to Rank Math in about five minutes. It'll just take all of your existing information that's already in there and put it into its system and then maybe want to take a few minutes and go through and see what they're ranking you for with their numerical assessment instead of the traffic light assessment, you may find some new ways to optimize your existing content and give it a little boost. So let me show you. So we're here in the back end of my website and my WordPress dashboard. I have installed Rank Math. I've got it all set up on my site. It is a very simple transition if you're going from Yoast over to Rank Math. But right here, you can see that they have a lot of different modules. And if you have different ways that your website runs and the things that you need, you can turn things on or off as you need to. So I don't really have a local business. I'm mostly online, so I can turn off the local SEO piece and it won't give me prompts about making sure that I get my keywords in the right place and my, my location in the right place. For everyone that I work with, I like to make sure that our redirections are turned on, that our sitemap is turned on, and that you do connect it to your analytics. But for the rest of these, it's about how you want your website to run and the things that are important to you. So I always turn on image SEO, but I don't use BuddyPress or BBPress, so I don't leave those on. So it's nice that you can kind of pick and choose which parts of work rank math you want to use because then you won't spend precious load time on things that you don't need. They do have a setup wizard here so if you're a little bit confused about what you want to do you can walk through the process. Like I said it takes about five minutes for you to set it all up whether you're starting it from scratch or you're migrating over from Yoast. And then any of these things that you want to set up if you want to make sure that your titles are set up a certain way, your sitemaps in a certain way, your redirection are set up, you can do that through these settings. So these are all of my redirections that have automatically set up as I've moved things around the site. But the reason that I really love using Rank Math is the on-page optimization, the things that you can do page and post level to make sure that these keywords show up for you. So you can see here, here are some of my recent posts. And instead of having that green light, red light, yellow light piece that I, you normally see from Yoast, here you can see that I have this numerical score where this blog post of the, from last week about how to update old content has an 82, and this one has a 91, and this one has an 89. So I can kind 
kind of get an idea of how well I'm doing, not just red, green, and yellow, but ooh, there are some that probably need some updates. So let's go in and look at this one because I haven't updated it since I installed Rank Math, clearly. <laughs> so in the same way that you have that right sidebar that tells you everything that you need um, for your Yoast plugin, the same thing is true here for rank math. In the same way that the Y shows up, you can see that I have this score here. But my focus keyword when I wrote this and optimized it on Yoast was SEO keyword, which is not actually that good of a focus keyword. So let's think about what it should be instead. This post is really intended to be more of an SEO checklist. So I think that's what I'm going to, the direction I'm going to go in, the ultimate SEO checklist. I'm going to change some things up here for writing. Oh, you can see I've already started to jump up for writing blog posts that Google loves. Maybe I'll even spell Google correctly. And now I'm already at 68 just by making that shift. So in the same way that with all of these SEO plugins, the checklist is only as good as the keyword that you select for it. So when I had the phrase SEO keyword, I wasn't doing that well. But once I changed to SEO checklist and made a couple of these different adjustments, you can see my score starting to rise. Now I need to make sure that my focus description is in my meta description. So let me come down here uh, instead of here's how to write SEO or write SEO friendly blog posts, grab your free SEO checklist. I'm going to change my permalink here to checklist. And by doing that, even though it's not the word checklist right in a row, I have the words SEO and checklist in there. No, nope, maybe not. <laughs> it really wants it to be blog SEO checklist. Now, I don't really care one way or another the order that it goes in. And because I now have Rank Math, it will automatically, when I make this change, update that redirection tool because I have that turned on in the settings. It doesn't appear at the beginning of your content because I just changed it. So today I'm going to share an SEO checklist with you to, or for you to walk through. Again, I have all of these issues with my capitalization and woohoo, we just made it up to green to walk through to write, we'll say Google friendly blog posts. So just making these little adjustments, this can be the reminder that you're using in the same way that you would use Yoast. What are some of the other things that it's concerned about? My focus keywords are not in my subheadings. I knew I had the word SEO checklist in here. Yeah, there we go. Now it's in there. All right, it's telling me that I need to add an alt text. So let me click on this and come over to the settings for the image. Let me add in an alt text that says, right, SEO friendly blog posts with a free SEO checklist and cheat sheet because that's what I have in the image, right? Those are the words that are on the image. I want to make sure that people who can't see the image are going to get that information. We can come back over here to our rank math and see I've already gone up too because it's in there. Keyword density is a little low. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> SEO title doesn't contain a number. I guess I could make it the like seven step guide. I don't really care that much. It doesn't all need to be there. And then a table of contents. I actually have another plugin that sets up a table of contents every time I do this, but Rank Myth doesn't always notice that. So making sure that I have these little changes, again, just making that adjustment of changing out the focus keyword. If I wanted to add another focus keyword, maybe I could use the word keyword and see how it does. Oh, look, the word keyword, it'll actually do a separate adjustment and analysis and say, oh, maybe you have, oh, your title contains three power words, yay. So as you can see, this isn't actually all that different in the types of things that it's looking for, but I like the way that it gives you kind of a graduated approach to this so that you see that every single change that you make can add to your overall SEO score. This isn't just about getting up to the green light. It's about understanding how the different pieces work together. And I love that I can have these multiple keywords here so that I can adjust and not just feel like I'm slamming the key, the same exact phrase into the same places, but also that I get to adjust and play around and use different synonyms of my same keyword cluster. I know you may have been skeptical when I started this video with the uh, the metaphor of upgrading my car and being super excited about it, but I hope you understand now why I got super excited about updating my WordPress website to use Rank Math instead of Yoast because it's just such a powerful tool and it's free. If you want more videos like this, if you want to know more ways to optimize your website, bring in leads, subscribers, and sales to your website, then like this video, subscribe to it, and I'll see you next week with more SEO tips.